welcome back to my channel. Today I want to film a quick little swatch party video from a very not so affordable palette company that I just purchased from. Sugar Pill Cosmetics, I swear everyone and their grandma talks about this brand on YouTube and talks about how amazing it is. A lot of my friends from Makeup Struggles to Georgia Harris, Spooky Lips and Fat Hips, they all talk about this brand so of course I, being the impressionable young lady that I am, decided to fall into the hype and try it out. So if you're interested, just hang in there. I just want to show you guys, this is the box it came in. Oh my gosh, so adorable. I don't even really like pink that much, but this presentation is amazing, you guys. All the shadows came packed in their own little sleeve, which like, you know, is adorable. And like everything was housed very safely. And then there was a ton of pretty baby blue tissue paper in there so very very exciting stuff so let me put this down and then show you this is the sleeve for the actual pro palette so all their matte shadows which i bought all matte shadows are ten dollars a piece so you buy 12 of them and then you get this palette this cardboard palette for free it is a customizable palette that fits 12 sugar pill shades these are 36 mm pro pans Magnetic closure keeps your collection safe and secure, consolidates your favorite sugar pill eyeshadows into one convenient palette, magnetic bases makes it easy for you to replace your pants as often as you need. And this brand is based out of LA. Very cute packaging. I just love the aesthetic of the whole thing and I feel like you kind of like graduated to beauty guru status when you get a sugar pill palette. I'm just kidding. This is really cute too. Okay, so I'm going to stop blabbering. You guys ready for this? You ready? I already showed this on Instagram so most of you have seen this. Ready? Ah. Hmm. I swear. Is there not like a YouTube video where, you know, like every YouTuber, I swear, has a sugar pill palette? So I need one too. I'm going to list the names of the shades on the screen when I'm swatching them because I don't know the names yet off the top of my head. I know some of them, but I don't know all of them. So let's get to swatching. I'm so excited. Should we? No, I'm going to swatch this way. Okay. Let's see here. So I actually did use this palette today on my eyes. I use this white shade and I also use the purple shade as well as this peachy color that I got and I created this all matte look. I also used some green eyeliner and some pink mascara. Clearly I was feeling the fantasy. Everyone says these shadows don't swatch as good as they are in real life, but that's okay. Wow, they kind of really don't. <laughs> Let's see, they do blend like a dream though. I had so much fun playing with this palette. Like it was just so, so dreamy to blend. The only thing I did realize, and I'm not saying this to deter you guys because obviously you're gonna be different from me, is I was also eyeballing the colored rain, all matte like pigment set they were launching. They did like a pre-order this week. And I was going like, oh my God, should I get it? Should I get it? Should I get it? And so I decided to wait because I knew this palette was coming in the mail. And once I played with this palette, I'm like, you know what? Not a huge fan of all matte palettes. I do enjoy a little bit of shimmer every once in a while, a little bit of shimmer on my lids. So I'm excited that I have this like bomb matte eyeshadow palette. But if you're like on a budget or you like don't really need to spend $120, I would say like if you already have like a Viseart palette, that should get you by. Unless you really want to try these, which is great. They also have a six band palette, so you can do that. I just couldn't like... I wanted like, ideally I wanted eight shadows, but they didn't have an eight pen palette situation. So if you buy eight of them, it pretty much ends up being $100 anyway. So I decided to just buy the whole pro situation, which I probably didn't need, but I've heard so many people say such good things about these. This red shade, oh my God, I'm so excited to put that in my eyeballs. And then I don't know if you guys will be able to see that brown color. But there it is. I might actually be able to even use that as a bronzer, so that'll be interesting. But I've heard nothing but good things about the shade Buttercup. And then this red shade is called Love Plus, I believe. Okay, now the shades that really just kind of got me excited to try Sugar Pill. Like this shade, it's called Mochi. It's like a pretty mint color. Mmm, I got some blues, guys. Yeah, these are really... So I think they go on better with a brush but that's what everyone says about them so hopefully you still find this swatch video somewhat useful yeah just know that they are buildable they're not completely crap but they are expensive so that's definitely something to consider when you want to buy something like this plus 
I know for a fact I'm never going to get through all these shadows. So most likely you won't either. So like, do you really need this palette? Probably not. Okay, so there, there are all the shades that I purchased from Sugar Pill. Let me know if you guys have any questions or comments that I didn't address right away. Obviously, I will have a review up on the shadows when I can. I will do my best to get that up as soon as possible, but you guys know I have a jillion other palettes to review as well. But if you'd like to see a review soon, just let me know in the comments. I'll try and prioritize it. But yeah, I'm super glad I bought these. I swear to you, don't be scared of the swatches because the swatches are not doing these shades justice. The purple did swatch beautifully. And again, that is the color I have on my eyes today. So hope you found this video somewhat useful. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in my next one soon. Bye guys.